In this video, we will see the second issue of data cleaning, that is suspicious response patterns. There are two types. The first one is straight lining, that is when the respondent is giving the same answer for all the questions. Some respondents may use very low points in answering all the questions and some may use very high. For instance, on a 7-point Likert scale, some respondents may use 1 or 2 for all the questions and some respondents may use 7 or 6 for all the questions, maybe 7 in all of them. So this kind of data is not really ideal for statistical analysis and for article writing and journal publication. So we have to normally get rid of this kind of data. But we have to also bear in mind that this kind of responses also depend on cultures in some cases. For instance, the Spanish-speaking people they actually tend to be on higher extremes. On the other hand, Chinese-speaking people or Japanese people, they try to be in the middle, like they will be giving more or less neutral on many of the observations. So we have to t consider these cultural issues as well when we do the analysis. The second point is inconsistencies in answers. Someone said that he did it in one question and then later that he didn't do that. So how do we really increase the reliability of our data? There are ways to do that, so no worries. We can actually use standard deviation. So when we see that a respondent had a very low standard deviation for all his or, his or her observations, we can easily understand that he was kind of following a straight lining. You know? We can use the screening questions like in the, in the beginning of the survey, we may ask that, okay, do you use iPhone? He said yes. And then later we had a question about Android phone and he also answered that question and which he should not have answered. These are called the screening questions. We can also use multiple questions on the same issue. This is a very tricky idea actually. This is very clever, I think. Now we, maybe not for all the questions, you may use this kind of things, this kind like multiple questions for one or three of the questions in your whole survey. And when you see that they have responded differently in those two or three factors, then you understand that there were some kind of inconsistencies in answers. If you find the video useful, please like, comment, share and subscribe.